watch the video and really evaluate the individuals, but the speed that they were playing with, I thought was, was very good. As far as the quarterbacks go, I think Ryan Mallett did a good job of, of completing passes and, and uh, knowing where to go for the most part. The thing he has to improve on is not taking sacks and not taking negative plays. He's got to know when to throw the ball away. He's not a, he's not a scrambler and a running quarterback, so he has to be able to throw the ball away and get us to second and ten. We had way too many second and extra longs, which, which I don't like. And Tyler, again, shows how well he can throw the ball. He's got to be able to execute the, the offense and, and do the different things in the running game, not fumble snaps, and just keep improving on that part. Played a lot of running backs. I think uh, initially you see Dennis Johnson stand out. I thought he played fast, made some plays. The plan for Michael Smith was to take one series and get him out. So we got that accomplished and uh, made one nice run. I think made some yards after contact. And then I thought, you know, Broderick Green showed some power. Ran him when he was tired. We gave him the ball about five, six, seven times in a row, which was good to see because that's when you got to wear the defense down. I was happy about that. Niles struggling. You can see he missed the early part of camp. Doesn't really know all his assignments and, and tracks. And, you know, he, he, uh, he just struggled. He's behind everybody else. Ronnie Wingo showed you know, what he can do in the open field. He's an explosive, very good athlete. Does a nice job cutting. Have to evaluate both fronts. I don't think I can comment on that until I really see the video. The exchange, the quarterback exchange in center. Do you see any problems with that? The heat of yeah, there's, a, there's some problems out there. We, uh, you know, we haven't had them up to this time, but once it gets live, once the centers get tired, you know, the quarterbacks and centers get to get extra chances in, in practice Monday and get in better condition. It's something that we're not going to stand for. I was really disappointed in the one in shotgun uh, because we haven't had that at all. So some of it's the quarterback pulling out. Ryan pulls out sometimes. And some of it, the centers get tired and don't get the ball up like they need to. Do that from the receivers? Yeah, I think, you know, we saw guys that can make plays. You know, Jarius Wright has the speed. Joe can really run with the ball. The more we can get him the ball, the more he, he can run with it. And I thought Child stood out. A lot of third down conversions out of, out of Childs, and he, he ran hard with the ball. Um, I think London got a little bit dinged up. I'm not sure exactly what's wrong with him. But, uh, you know, we got a good receiving core. It would be nice to get Lucas back. He actually could have went today, but he didn't deserve to get to scrimmage because he missed some practices. Coach, a lot of passes to the backs. Can you talk about that? I can't hear you. A lot of passes to the backs, the running backs. A lot Is of passes? Yes. Yeah, you know, that's part of our progression. A couple of them were passes to the backs because they missed their protection, which we don't like. You know, they, they missed their protection, and the quarterback kind of threw it hot to them, uh, which is one of the quarterback's rules. If the back misses protection, get him the ball. And unfortunately, I think we had about three or four of them out there. We can't have that. But you know, our passing game is designed to get the ball down the field, but the running backs, if they get where they belong and the secondary drops deep, we're going to check it down and get, get it in their hands. And, their, their opportunity to make a play. And we saw some good plays out in the open by the running backs to catch, after they caught the ball. Talk about what you saw. Uh, it's hard. Number 10 made a lot of tackles. You know, I think he's come back and, and ran around with a lot of tackles. I thought uh, you know, our defensive ends put some pressure on the quarterback. We have to have much better discipline by our rush guys inside. You know, they're going out of their lanes. And, that's why you see the quarterbacks could run down the field just about any time they wanted to. So we need to we need to improve that. Secondary wise, I just have to wait and watch the video. Uh, you know, Isaac Madison, do you know? I mean, did it look? Bad? I don't know. I didn't see it at all. I don't know anything. I haven't talked to the trainers. How do you think the guys have been on the grind of camp so far? Good. I like our attitude. I really like the way they prepared for the scrimmage. They, you know, the way we wanted to be in the training room, in the locker room, the way they came out, their focus and concentration and the warm-ups and, and uh, practice prior to scrimmage. Uh, I was very impressed. We were taking a, a big stride there and knowing how to prepare and get ready for, for a scrimmage. Do you think they're looking back to Hobbit today? Uh, you know, you can't miss the first one. And he came back, which I think is a good thing. Come back and finish strong, but you can't miss an easy chip shot. You know, some of that was the snap. The snap was off offline, but 
but they really no excuse from that far. You got to kick it through the uprights. You think the players are looking forward to having a day off tomorrow? Well, they don't get the whole day off. We just don't practice. Uh, we'll be in. We got uh, some weightlifting to do. We got to watch the video and, and then get ready for Monday's practice. But uh, they'll get a little break from getting out in the sun, and getting out and running around on the field. They've got to do a good job, you know, from here till there, getting with the trainers and taking care of their body and, and uh, making sure they understand that this is what the rest is for, so they get their body ready to practice on Monday. How many more scrimmages like this will we have before? Uh, we have one next Saturday, and then uh, you know, the one the Friday before our opener is is more of a mock game. You go against the scout team, and you know, it makes you feel good, but you don't get a lot of hard work in it. Talk about the difference between the first and second offensive lines. Yeah, I have to watch the video. Yeah. I, you know, it's hard for me to come out here and say I, I didn't think we ran the ball early like we need to. I think we were blowing them off the ball and opening up holes and you know made us hard on the offense early because we were always in second and long or second and extra long. And, you know, we got to control the line of scrimmage better than that and cover up those linebackers. Thank you, Coach.